Howdy! I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to use a binomial distribution to evaluate toy manufacturing quality control. Here's our problem statement. When purchasing bulk orders of batteries, a toy manufacturer uses this acceptance sampling plan. Randomly select and test 35 batteries and determine whether each is within specifications. The entire shipment is accepted if at most three batteries do not meet specifications. A shipment contains 3,000 batteries and 2% of them do not meet specifications. What is the probability that this whole shipment will be accepted? Will almost all shipments be accepted or will many be rejected? Okay, the first part of this problem is asking us to calculate the probability that the whole shipment will be accepted. And to do that, we're going to use the binomial distribution calculator in StackCrunch. So first we need to pull up StackCrunch. And I can do that here. I'm going to pop this window out. And then I'm going to resize it so we can see a little bit better everything that's going on here. Then inside StackCrunch, I'll go to Stat, Calculators, Binomial. Here in my binomial calculator, I need to add in the parameters of my distribution. The sample size is 35 batteries. Why am I using the 35 and not the 3,000? Well, because 3,000 is the population. 3,000 is the entire shipment. We're just taking a portion of that population. That's what a sample is, a portion of the population. So the 35 batteries is our sample size and not the 3,000. Probability of success? Well, we're going to define success as not meeting specifications. And we do that because it just works out better that way. I know that sounds funky that, you know, not meeting specifications is going to be a, a success. But yeah, it just makes the problem easier. The percentage is 2% of the population aren't meeting specifications. So that's the probability of success. Then we have to look to see that the entire shipment will be accepted if at most three batteries do not meet specifications. So we can have no batteries or one battery or two battery or three batteries and that would that would mean that we are accepting the shipment. So here we're actually calculating the probability based on one number but we need four different numbers, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to come up here and press the between option on my calculator so I can put in everything between 0 and 3. And there we get our probability, 0.9948918. We were asked to round to four decimal places, so that comes out to be 0.99. Four nine. Nice work. And now the second part has a few different fields for us to fill in. The first is asking for an acceptance rate. And we have that acceptance rate right here. We just calculated it. It's in decimal form. We need to convert it to percent form. And we do that by moving the decimal place over two places. So that becomes 99.49. And then the rejection rate is just the complement of the acceptance rate. So if we subtract that from 100, and I can do that with my handy dandy calculator here, just subtract that out from 100, and that gives me my rejection rate, which is awfully low. So we've got some good stuff going on here because with such a low rejection rate, it's going to be that almost all the shipments are going to be accepted. Fantastic! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below. Let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com where you can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.